Dear students, we were discussing about iterative structures and today we will be discussing how to control the loop as we have discussed in some of the modules previously as well the while structure. However, today we will be mainly focusing that how we can control that loop. So, first of all, what is loop? You know that the repetition or repetitive use of an instruction or sequence of instruction is an important algorithmic problem which we have discussed in some of the modules and one way is using the loops and another way is using the recursion which we will be discussing in some modules afterwards. What is the execution steps of a loop? So first of all, it's check the condition whether the condition is true or false. If the condition is true, then execute the body, then check the condition, execute the body and so on until the condition is false and then the loop is terminated the while structure is terminated so let's have a example of writing hello five times so for example one way could be to write using python structure the pseudo code like print and you are saying hello and then you are saying again print hello then you are again saying print hello and you are saying it how many times five times so until five it was very easy because this screen allowed me to write five times hello however if i want to write thousand time hello then even this screen would not allow me and even you would be annoyed that this is very bad practice that why we want to write hello thousand time or five time with same statement which is print statement so we can design a loop that would be controlling this print statement we can write for example number is assigned by one while number is less than or equal to five print hello and number is assigned by number plus one so this kind of module we had already discussed but i will explain again so there is a memory in which number is present and that number is at the moment having value of one so one is less than or equal to five correct print hello so it will print hello on the screen then number will be two so this one will be two so two is less than or equal to five condition again true it will print again hello then it will become three condition is true again it will print then it will become four condition is true it will again print then it will become five condition is again true and it will print five and then it will become six so six is less than equal to five condition will be false and it will terminate however you will you might have understood the basic difference between these two statements that i have written five times print and here i have written print only once and the use of loop is also uh, making our life very easy that we can write here instead of five we can here write five thousand so this mean this loop will keep executing until five thousand times However, using print statement, we would need to write print 5000 times. So this means if something is repeating, so at that particular place, we can use loops. And this is very simple loop which we have designed today. We will be designing very complex loop problems in the next modules as well. And one of the problem which we are going to design right now is the next problem that we want to print counting from 1 to 20 so this is one of the solution that we write print and 1 comma 2 comma 3 up till 20 
So what we can do, we can write number is signed one while number is less than equal to 20 print what we want to print number and we want to print comma and then number is assigned number plus one so this is the pseudocode or the program which we can write in python which can generate counting from 1 to 20 and you can see that if we change this 20 with 20,000 so we will get counting from 1 to 20,000 on screen with just changing only at this location however using the print command we need to write by hand 21 comma 22 comma 23 comma 24 up till 20,000 so this means wherever we find repetitions we can use loops so if we summarize today's module we have learned two examples that how the loops can be controlled and how the loops can be used to solve very simple problems of repetition